On March 8th of 2017, my life changed forever. That was the day when everything began. I was the happiest 15-year-old girl living in Miami with my mom, who I share an amazing bond with and love endlessly with all my heart. I had everything I could have ever asked for. Good friends, a soccer team, a safe household, the endless love of both of my parents, and I love being an only child. I did not have the desire of wanting anything else till that day, that day when the storm began. On March 8th of 2017, my mom passed away. She was a beautiful woman, but sadly had an addiction that took her away from me. And no, she was not a drug addict nor an alcoholic. Instead, she had an addiction to body image. She decided to travel to Colombia to obtain surgery on her stomach. So when she was there, the surgeon did not realize my mom had an ulcer in her stomach. So he proceeded with the surgery. My mom called me after the surgery explaining everything had gone well, but she was crying, which left me with a weird feeling about the situation. So when she arrived at the airport to come back to Miami, she fainted, so she was taken back to the hospital. I called her many times that March 8th of 2017, but she never responded. The next morning, I woke up to my aunt crying disconsolately. And let me tell you something. In that moment, in that minute, that exact second, I knew I had lost the person I loved the most in this world. My partner, my best friend, literally my other half. I just didn't know what to do. I, uh, there, it was impossible for me to see anything good in the world. I repeatedly asked myself, what just happened? Why did it happen? What did it happen to me? What did I do to deserve this? Many negative thoughts went through my mind, but I had to overcome the storm. I'm here today to tell you how I fought against my storm enough to be able standing being here sharing my story with you i believe many of the people watching this can relate to me in different ways but if you relate to my situation i hope i, I can help you well when i was in my darkest phase i began attending a psychologist who day by day helped me in overcoming the storm I began incorporating positive thoughts in my life and started to look life in a different way, in a more positive way. So I thought to myself, the only thing my mom wanted for me was for me to be happy. So I started remembering her with happiness instead of sadness. So at first I would look at pictures of her and just burst into tears and be so sad and angry about the situation. But after some time, um, I started to look at pictures of her and actually feel happy and proud of the amazing woman she was. Another thing I did was losing the fear of speaking out about the situation to my friends or family. Because at first I would just feel scared and would think about the topic as taboo or something. But it really isn't. Actually, talking about it with my friends and family really helped me throughout the journey because I was able to let out my feelings and be able to express myself better. And also, incorporating positive thoughts really helped me. I began to enjoy the little things that really matter in life, such as friends and family. I also try to go out and hang out with them as much as I can, since I know that by being out with them, I'm gonna be happy. That, and if I stay home, I'm just gonna like be sad. And that didn't help me. 
Anyways, it was a long journey because after five months, I was in a position where I had to move back to Argentina. So here, I really didn't want it to do it. I was gonna lose my friends, my school, everything I had, I was just gonna lose it. And then starting a new life in another country, I didn't want it. I didn't need it. On August 20th of 2017, when I was in this position where I had to move back to Argentina, I walk into my aunt's room and see all my cousins pale-faced and scared. So I thought to myself, what had happened now? And by just seeing the look on their faces, I knew it was something bad. That August 20th of 2017, I found out my dad had committed suicide. At that moment in life, I honestly did not know what to do. I repeatedly asked myself like, how was I gonna be able to live a normal life ever again? How was I gonna be a normal teenager again when I had just lost the two people that were the most important thing in my life? My best friends, my parents. But I had to overcome the storm in order to be a better person and be able to li live my life the best I could. So what I did was realizing that I had people that were there to help me at all times because at first I would really feel alone and think that I wasn't gonna be able to make it but I really wasn't alone because my friends and family were always there to help me. The years passed and I'm endlessly happy with the bond we've built. The bond we have with my family today, it's beautiful. We've built a bond that I've never thought I could have with them. Spending time with my cousins is the thing I love the most. Just hanging out with them or traveling together. I love it because I honestly know that when I'm with them, everything is going to be okay. I feel protected, I feel happy, and it's just what I love to do the most. And although I had them, at some times I still felt alone since I didn't have my parents with me. But after some time, I realized that they didn't leave me. They were not gone. They were still here with me and are still here with me every day. Maybe not physically, but I know they're here in some way. Because the people that leave us, they might live physically, but they still live here with us. They live in you, they live in me. They live in all of us in their own way. So furthermore, another things I did in order to overcome the storm was, first of all, practice gratitude. Gratitude is the most important thing. In my case, I'm extremely thankful I had the opportunity to meet such amazing people and I was able to live with them for 15 of my years. I'm extremely thankful they taught me how to be a good person, how to really enjoy the little things in life and how to live life happily no matter what happens to you. Being thankful is extremely important because it will teach you to appreciate everything you have. Secondly, another thing I did was possessing a purpose. If you're going through a storm right now, let me tell you, the best way you can come out of it is finding a purpose. Just close your eyes for a second and think, what is my purpose? And once you have it, never let it go. Having a purpose is what will help you keep going every day throughout the journey and won't let you fall down. I just wanna tell you that you should never give up on your dreams. And if you have a purpose, just follow it and fight till you obtain it. There's a quote by Haruki Murakami that states, and once the storm is over, 
you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure, in fact, whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you will not be the same person who walked in. I personally love this quote because I feel that I can relate to it because I'm not the same person as when I walked into the storm. I believe I'm a more wiser and smarter person since I learn how to enjoy everything in life. And that has brought me to be the person I am today. I wanna to tell you today that what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. If you're going through a storm right now, I just wanna tell you, don't give up. Don't let yourself fall down. Because when you least realize it, you're gonna know that you've become a better person and the best version of yourself. And I hope that if I was able to overcome my storm, you are able to overcome yours. Thank you.